Всем привет! Добро пожаловать на мой канал. Lesson number seven out of 365. Russian in one year in 365 days. You will find the whole playlist in the description box. So if you want to start with the first lesson, go there. Uh, as you know, I um, uh, divided all the lessons in parts and the first part is a verb. Number one is a verb. Verb. And the verb of the day is слушать. Слушать. Давайте напишем. Слушать. Слушать. Слушать means to listen to. Слушать, to listen to. This is imperfective aspect. Perfective is послушать. 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 Пос perfective means one time action. Finished. Done. Perfective. Imperfective, something that is happening every day, every week, right now and present. We will get to this one in the future. Let's discuss imperfective слушать. Something that is happening right now or every day. Слушать, to listen to. First, let's conjugate it. Слушать. Я слушаю. Я слушаю. Я слушаю. I listen to. Я слушаю. I listen. Um, я слушаю. Ты слушаешь. Ты слушаешь. Ты слушаешь. Don't forget to practice with me out loud. It's very important. And try to copy my pronunciation. Ты слушаешь. If it's too advanced for you, go to my Russian for Beginners playlist. I will post it at the end of this lesson. And you can click on it. There you will find you will start from zero, from alphabet, reading, and so on. Ты слушаешь. Ты слушаешь. Он, она слушает. Он, она слушает. Слушает. Он, она слушает. He, she listens to. Он, она слушает. He, she listens. Мы слушаем. Мы слушаем. Мы слушаем. We listen. Мы слушаем. Вы слушаете. You, plural or formal. Here we have, we had ты слушаешь. You, singular. Uh, listen. Вы is you in plural or formal. Вы слушаете. Вы слушаете. You listen to. Вы слушаете. And the last one. Они слушают. They listen. Они слушают. Они слушают. So the root is слуш and слуша. The root is слуша. Okay. And these are the endings. Okay. Yet. Uh, Ешь and uh, you. Слушаю, ты слушаешь, он, она слушает, мы слушаем, вы слушаете, они слушают. Идем дальше. Let's continue. Part two. Номер два. Part two is nouns. Are nouns. Nouns. First we are going to learn some noun that answers to question кто. Кто means who. So here we have we will have some animate nouns. Кто? Человек. Век. Человек. I hope that my microphone is on. Yes, it's on. Кто? Человек. Человек is a human, a person. Гость. Гость. Of course, it's a guest. Гость. Пессимист. Pessimist. Pessimist, very similar to the English word. Pessimist. Pessimist. 
here ye is not stressed, so we will pronounce it as e. When ye is not stressed, pronounce it as e. Pessimist. It is a pessimist. Pessimist. In Russian, pessimist. Дальше друг, друг, a friend, друг, бабушка, 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 grandmother. Do not stress u, stress a, please. A is stressed. Бабушка, not бабушка, бабушка is a grandmother and сестра. Sistra. I know that you learned this word, words in our previous, some of these words in our previous lessons, but we will repeat the words over and over. Бабушка and сестра. Of course, it means sister. Сестра. Хорошо, идем дальше. Now, nouns that answer to question что. Что. Что means what. Here we had who, кто, and что, что, and the nouns are что, что, правда, 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 правда is truth, правда, неправда, 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 with не, untruth, lie, a lie. Неправда, uh, untruth or a lie. Неправда. Компьютер. Компьютер. Компьютер, of course, is a computer. Компьютер. Информация. 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 And of course it's information. По-русски, in Russian, информация. 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 Скажите, say информация. Отлично. Number part three are adverbs. Adverbs. Part three adverbs like нормально, нормально, нормально. Нормально literally means normal. Нормально, normally because it's an adverb. Нормально. It can mean okay. Basically, it means okay. Нормально, okay. It's okay. Нормально. Как дела? How are you? Нормально. I'm okay. Сегодня, сегодня means today, сегодня, today, сегодня, today, and нельзя, нельзя, нельзя means forbidden, not allowed to, нельзя, you may not. Нельзя. Нельзя. Продолжим. Let's continue with part four. Four is about adjectives. Прилагательные in Russian language. Adjectives. Adjectives. Прилагательные. Uh, например, японский... Японский, Japanese, as an adjective. Японский, и is the ending for masculine adjective after ka letter. Японский, японский, to make it feminine, replace и with aya. Японская, feminine. And it will be followed by a feminine noun. Японская машина, for example, Japanese car. Because машина is feminine, we will say японская, not японский. Японский is for, is an adjective for masculine nouns. Японская, японская, uh, японская with oe, 
we will talk about when we talk about neuter nouns. Японское мороженое. I don't know. Uh, Japanese ice cream because мороженое is neuter. Японское. And plural will be ие. Японские. И we will replace with ие because it will be followed by a noun in plural, like японские машины, Japanese cars, японские машины. Дальше, another adjective will be умный. Умный. Умный is smart. And here we have ы ending, it's masculine too, but we don't have here ка letter, so we can write with ы. Умный, smart. To make it feminine, replace it with ая, умная, smart, умная девушка, smart girl, умная. To make it neuter, add, replace и with ое, умное, like умное, умное, что может быть, умное, умное, радио, smart radio. Да. Умные. And plural. Умные. Ие is the ending for plural too. Here we had и, because ка does not support и after it. But here we have an, which supports и. So we will say умные. Умные дети. Smart kids. Умные дети. Smart kids. And the last... Um, and the last um, adjective is молодой. Дой. Молодой. Ой ending is when о is stressed. Молодой. Молодой. Young. Запомните, молодой is young masculine. Ой. To make it feminine, replace ой with ая. Молодая. Молодая. And а will be stressed. So when the last uh, vowel and uh, vowel is stressed. We will use молодой ой and ая will be stressed too. Молодая, молодое, for example, вино because вино is neuter. Молодое вино, young wine. Молодое вино, or молодые. Again, we will use и ending, not E, because the letter supports E. It is okay with E, so we will use молодые. Молодые люди, young people. Молодые люди, young people. Хорошо, we are done with the adjectives. Давайте продолжим. Номер пять, part five is, part number five is about other words. Number five. Other words like... Other words that we are going to learn today will be может, maybe, может, может, maybe, or able to, depends on the context, может, maybe, or able to, может. Там, там means there, там, there. В means in, в, in, в. And конечно, конечно, конечно means of course, конечно, of course, конечно, of course, конечно, of course. Дальше, part six, is about grammar, grammar, a little bit of grammar, grammar. Uh, and today's grammar will be with important word at the end. Uh, in Russian, we can play with words in a sentence. We can put a word at the beginning or the same word at the end or in the middle. And I will show you today where you can put an important word for you, for your statement at the end of the sentence. Like, uh, let's look at the example. Она красивая девушка. Она красивая, красивая, а я, feminine ending, она красивая девушка. Девушка, 
девушка, because девушка is feminine, we will say красивая. Она красивая девушка. She is a beautiful girl. Она красивая девушка. She is a beautiful girl. Она красивая девушка. She is a beautiful girl. Uh, okay, an important word is at the end. You can put any word you want here. Like, она красивая девушка. You want to specify that she is a girl. You are talking about a girl. Она красивая девушка. Or you can say, красивая девушка она. Красивая. Красивая. You can uh, start with красивая, then девушка. Девушка она. Красивая девушка она. So you want to specify that she, you are talking about her. Красивая девушка она. Beautiful girl uh, she is. Красивая девушка она. Do you see how can we can play with words in Russian language in a sentence? Красивая девушка она. Or also you can say... Um, так... Девушка она красивая. You want to specify that beautiful word, да? Девушка она. Девушка. Девушка она красивая. This is the important word for you. This is what you want to... Uh, красивая. To emphasize. Красивая. Девушка она красивая. Girl, she is beautiful. Девушка, она красивая. So in Russian language, it is not so strict about words, the location of the words in a sentence. This is the easiest part of Russian language, да? Девушка, она красивая. Girl, she is beautiful. Девушка, она красивая. Девушка, она красивая. Хорошо, идем дальше. Let's continue. We are done with the grammar for today. And the next part, seven, is about expressions. We will going to learn some Russian expressions. Семь. Expressions. Expressions or uh, really common phrases uh, that you will need in your everyday life. Like, да, это правда. Да, да, это правда. Правда. Да, это правда. Yes, this is true. Да, это правда. Yes, this is true. Запомните. Это предложение. Memorize this sentence. Нет, это неправда. Нет, это неправда. Неправда. Нет, это неправда. No, this is untrue. This is a lie. Нет, это неправда. Нет, это неправда. No, this is a lie. Нет, это неправда. Нет, это неправда. Москва большая. Now let's repeat some adjectives. Москва большая. Большая. Большая, because Москва is feminine. Москва большая, Moscow is big. Москва большая. Москва большая, Moscow is big. Китайский язык трудный. Китайский. Китайский. Here we use the... It's masculine. Here we use the ending E. Because K does not support U after it. Китайский язык. Язык is masculine. This is why we said китайский in masculine. The adjective is masculine. Chinese language. Китайский язык трудный. 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 Again, here is not a problem with E ending. Because ne supports e after it, but ka letter does not support e after it. So we will have e ending, although this is masculine and this is masculine too. Китайский язык трудный. Chinese language is hard, complicated. 
трудный. We learned this adjective in our previous lesson. Китайский язык трудный. Chinese, Chinese language is complicated. It's hard. Китайский язык трудный. And another very common phrase is Сегодня плохая погода. Сегодня. Сегодня. Today. And we learned this word today. Сегодня плохая. Плохая. Aya is the ending of adjective for feminine. So it will be followed by a feminine noun погода. Погода. Сегодня плохая погода. And now that ends in A is feminine. Сегодня плохая погода. Today the weather is bad. Сегодня плохая погода. Запомните эту фразу. Сегодня плохая погода. Two more parts and we are done for today. Восемь, number eight, is about root words. We will learn in this part... We will improve our vocabulary, root words, by uh, learning root words, words with the same root, or related words, root words. Восемь. And today's word is красивый, an adjective, красивый. Красивый. Uh, it ends in E, that means that it's masculine, right? Красивый, beautiful, or handsome, if we're talking about a man in English. In English, you can say beautiful man. In Russian, you can, you can say beautiful man. Красивый мужчина. Красивый парень. We learned these two words already, да? Красивый, beautiful. Красивый. From this word, we can learn некрасивый, same root. Некрасивый. Некрасивый. Again, masculine. If you want to change it to feminine, replace и with ая. Некрасивая. Некрасивый is ugly, not beautiful. Красивый не. Красивый not beautiful, ugly. Красивый некрасивый. Another word will be красота. 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 So the root is крас. Красота. Красота is beauty. Beauty. Красота. Beauty. Красота. Красота. Beauty. Красота. Uh, another word will be красотка. Кра Красотка. Красотка. Красотка is a pretty woman or beautiful woman. Красотка. Beautiful woman. Красотка. And movie with uh, Julia Roberts, pretty woman, in Russian was translated, to Russian was translated as красотка. Pretty woman or beautiful woman. Красотка. And for men, this is feminine, for men, красавец. 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 А и стресс, да? Стресс А. Красавец. Uh, handsome man. Красавец. Handsome man. Красавец. Красавец. Or also for masculine we have красавчик. 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 But this one has two meanings. Beautiful, handsome man, красавчик, but also it means smart, smart boy, or something when you do something smart, or you were uh, have a, a talent, someone can say, tell you красавчик, красавчик, smart, talented, uh, handsome, красавчик, красавчик, smart, talented, handsome, красавчик. And we are going to finish with a short story. Number nine is a short story. Number nine is a short story like. Uh, we will continue our short story from the previous lesson. Это моя собака. Это моя собака. 
Sabaka. This is my dog. Maya means my in feminine because it is followed by a feminine noun Sabaka. Это моя собака. As I told you in the previous lesson, when O is not stressed, we pronounce it as A. Собака. Это, same here, O is not stressed, so pronounce it as A. Same here, O is not stressed, so pronounce it as A. Это моя собака. This is my dog. Это моя собака. Ее зовут Николь. Ее зовут Николь. Николь. Ее зовут Николь. Her name, ее, her name, ее зовут. Again here, о, not stress, pronounce it as а. Зовут Николь. Her name is Николь. Ее зовут means her name is Николь. Ее зовут Николь. Her name is Николь. Николь хорошая и красивая собака. Николь. Николь хорошая. Хорошая и... Красивая, красивая собака. Собака. Николь хорошая и красивая собака. Николь хорошая и красивая собака. So, Николь is a хорошая Feminine, good, хорошая и красивая and beautiful. Хорошая, kind, good, красивая, beautiful. А я ending feminine because собака is feminine. This is why this adjective and this adjective will be in feminine. Николь хорошая и красивая собака. Николь is a good, a kind and beautiful dog. Uh, Nicole, here O is stressed, so don't change it. It will be pronounced as O because it's stressed. Here, хорошая. Here O is stressed, so we are not going to change it. But this O is not stressed, so pronounce it as A. Хорошая. Хорошая и красивая собака. Again, O not stressed, pronounce it as A. Собака. Собака. And let's add Я ее очень люблю. 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 Я ее очень люблю. I her very love. Literally. I love her very much. Я ее очень люблю. Я ее, е, not stressed, pronounce it as и. Ее, я ее, очень, again, е, not stressed, pronounce it as и, очень, very, люблю, love, люблю, лю, лю. When you pronounce you, put your lips like that. Люблю, люблю, love, я люблю тебя, I love you. Probably you, probably you know this phrase, right? Я люблю тебя, I love you. Я ее очень люблю, I love her very much. Я ее очень люблю, I love her very much. Uh, отлично. That's all for this lesson. Спасибо большое за внимание. If you want to start from the beginning, you have a playlist under this video in the description box. I will um, make these lessons every day for 365 days and by the end of this year you will be able to speak Russian. Just participate, come here every day at 8 p.m. Moscow time and you will speak Russian by the end of the year. Спасибо всем, thank you to everybody. Увидимся с вами завтра. See you tomorrow for our next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified. The lessons already are there, so 
uh, put a reminder, set 